Today we're going to be talking about Japanese barberry, which is a type of invasive shrub that's taking over a lot of the forest understory in our lower Hudson Prism region. This is an example of one behind me, and one of the ways that you can tell what it, what it is is just it's got these arching branches, if you want to come in a little bit closer, that go in all sorts of different directions, and they send, tend to rise up almost like a crazy hairdo or something. Um, you know, again, these more like lime green foliage and really densely packed leaves that have these very sharp thorns on them. And again, because they can grow in dense thickets, uh, they can really kind of shade out a lot of it, a lot of the lower lying vegetation in our forest understory and out compete. Um, and so let's take a closer look at some of the key ID features that distinguish it from other shrubs that you might find in some of our forests. Let's take a closer look. First, let's take a look at these branches that I had mentioned before. So again, if you can see this almost flat, very thin spoon-shaped leaves that run along these branches, and you can start to see that there are little flower buds that are starting to appear. This video is being taken in mid-April, but by May, you'll start to see these almost whitish or uh, yellowish flowers that start to come, and they tend to come out by these little leaf clusters here. Um, another thing that I wanted to point out is that usually by the uh, end of the summertime, you'll start to see these berries, these red berries appear, and these are actually lasting from last year. So these red berries are more oval in shape and um, tend to be more elongated than some of the other ones that we'll see uh, in terms of lookalikes. And if we can get a close look at what these thorns look like, you see how they go straight up and they almost look like toothpicks. And you can get an idea for scale of both of these things from, from my hand and, and fingernail next to it, right? But almost like these very, very thick, sharp ones that had to, uh, sharp thorns that appear at the end of the leaf clusters. So that just gives you a, a, a general look at that. The only other thing I wanted to point out is if you take a look at the base of this, zoom into the base of this, there are multiple um, stems that are arising on this, just this one plant. And again, you know, because it's so dense in the middle, you know, these harbor are lots of ticks. So I gotta be careful to check myself afterwards. And small mammals and rodents tend to use this as a uh, cover, which again, you know, provides hosts for some of these ticks. So these are some of the key features. And again, taking a look at, at, the, at the arching branches and that almost like wild look to it. Um, and we'll look, take a look at some of the, the lookalikes in the area. But again, you're looking for the sharp thorns at the base, the spoon-shaped almost spatula, very thin leaves, and those arching branches. Japanese barberry lookalike alert. What we're looking at here is actually not Japanese barberry, but multiflora rose, which is another invasive species with sort of a wild growth pattern to it. So if you're out and about and you see this almost this wildness of growth in those arching branches, it may be multiflora rose. So there's a couple of different things you can look for. Let's take a look at the berries that have persisted over the winter into the early spring here. You'll see that they are red, very similar to Japanese barberry, but they're not nearly as elongated and oval in shape. All right, so they're more, they're a little bit slightly rounded and they have like the black tips at the end, as you can see here. So that's one of the features that can, that can help distinguish it. Let's take a look at some other features about multiflora rose that are slightly different. If you take a look at the thorn, to me, that looks like the dorsal fin or, so, or of, a, uh, of a shark or something. So it's more recurved and, and kind of a curve towards the back versus Barbary, which has a very straight, almost toothpick shape to it. And if you can see behind that thorn, you see um, that there is almost what are called these fringed stipules at the base. So if you can see, uh, if I can get my finger in there. See this little fringed, almost like uh, these fringed stipules or the base of the of the leaf stalk here that connect to the to this branch here. It's got those little like hairy projections on it, or the what are called fringe. Certainly, Barberry doesn't have that, and this is the distinguishing feature of Multiflora rose. So those are some of the features that you can look for to make sure that you're looking, in fact, at Barberry and not Multiflora rose.